good morning and welcome to Kita's Creations. So today I'm going to be uh, testing out um, gels, like one using this mixture that I have here of xanthan gum, as well as I've already had, I have it mixed already, about one half tablespoon of each xanthan gum and um, vegetable glycerin, which is what I usually use as a thickener in most of my products, so pretty much all, but not in but yeah, most of my products. So um, I've been hearing a lot about carbomer. And although I know it's not uh, considered really like a natural product, and in all honesty, I'm torn on whether or not I want to use it because me personally, I prefer more natural um, products in, in my, um, you know, more natural ingredients in my products, obviously. So, uh I'm not sure about it, but I still, you know, I purchased it. So I'm, I'm at least going to let you guys uh, see the end result just in case you decide to use it. That's entirely up to you. So I've already tested the pH of the water because for carbomer, that pH has to be at about a 7. So what I did was I brought my pH up from uh, about 5, 5.5 to a 7 using just a little bit of baking soda. So what we're going to do next is... We're gonna start with the carbomer, and I'm gonna start with this beaker here. I have uh, just some distilled water in here. And I'm adding about um, a half of a tablespoon of that. Okay, so sorry about that. So I added about a half tablespoon of that. I just wanted to wash my hands really quick. And um, so it does require you to hydrate it using the stick blender. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my xanthan gum mixture into the other beaker here. And we're just going to do a little bit of a comparison to see the end result um, with, you know, how the gel mixtures look. So you can decide which one you're going to go with. Now, as you can see, obviously here, there is uh, some cloudiness using the xanthan gum. But already you can kind of see how quickly it thickens. Look at that. I mean, can you guys see how quickly that xanthan gum thickened? We may make sure that's why it's always a really good natural um, resource to use like as a thickener in any of your products because it works pretty well the only drawback i would say to using xanthan it it almost has like a uh, um i don't want to say gummy but you know it's the consistency is not you know um as smooth as if you were using a product like the carbomer or you know another um uh thickener that's not really considered like a natural thickener so anywho yeah so i'm trying to get this to hydrate here it kind of stuck to my spoon so just excuse the mess i'm gonna have to use my stick blender on this one if i can get it off the spoon here <laughs> It seems to want to stick on there, so just bear with me a moment. So this is what not to do. Let me clean up this mess a little bit. Oops, sorry. Did drop my phone, but okay. So where were we? Um, I'm just gonna pull this little piece off because otherwise we'd be here forever. <laughs> me trying to get that off and I'm gonna and I do recommend wearing gloves obviously this is an experiment for me and I'm you know trying to wash my hands as often and as quickly as I possibly can um, but by all means wear gloves and let's go ahead and stick blend this carbomer and water mixture just to see what we come up with and I'm gonna start with just like really small pulse So 
just FYI. I mean, I can see that it's starting to thicken. And I have used, I've used uh, equal um, parts in both this as well as uh, the xanthan gum mixture. So the, um, I've used equal parts with the water and the measurements for the thickener. Um, so I just want to give you guys a quick comparison. Okay, so as you can see, it's still a little watery, but it has started to thicken a little. Um, I mean, I would say it, it, it definitely is getting thick. I'm going to check the pH on this because I'm curious to see where we are currently having added that carbon, carbon to the mixture. And it looks like the carbomer brought the pH down a little bit because from what I can see, now we're back down to about a four and a half. So I'm going to add a little sprinkle of baking soda to it to see if it brings it back up just a little bit. And if that changes the viscosity of it as well. So let's see. Yeah, I can I can feel it starting to thicken already. So yeah, that's absolutely the key there. Uh, look at this. So it literally went from like this watery consistency to a gel consistency just that quick, just by me adding that little sprinkle of baking soda. So if you're interested in using carbomer, that's the key is to keep the pH at about a seven in order for it to thicken. So I wanna give you guys a close up look of both of these mixtures. Just give me one second here. Let me grab something so I can um, pour a little bit out and you guys can see. So I have a paper plate. The thing is, I'm not sure if it's gonna show up all that well on a paper plate. I'm trying to see if I have something that's a little bit darker, or I may just try to do a little bit of a close-up. Like, I want you guys to see how thick this is. And that's just by adding that little bit of baking soda in there. Like, you can see how much thicker it became. This is the carpenter mixture. So look how thick it is. I mean, it literally, and it has a much smoother consistency than the mixture that has the xanthan gum. So I'm going to show you that one too. So this is the xanthan gum mixture, even though it's a whole lot thicker, as you can see, it's super thick, but it's a little more like jelly in a sense. It has a little bit of jiggle to it. And I mean, obviously, if you want to thin this out a little bit, you could just add more water to it. Um, that's entirely up to you and how you, you know, choose to use it and how thick you need it for your um, recipe. So I hope this guy helped you guys out a lot with your future projects. I mean, look at this stuff. But you see how much smoother this mixture is? than the xanthan gum mixture. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know if it'll show up on here, but I'm gonna just let it kind of run down so you can see. This is the carbomer mixture. As you can see, it's nice and thick. And this that's just using one half of a tablespoon of carbomer with about a cup of water and making sure that the height, um, the pH is at a seven. So that's crucial for carbomer. Now this is the xanthan gum mixture and it's 
I didn't use the stick blender on it, so it's, it just still has some little clumps in there too. But by all means, if you're gonna use this in a in a body product, a gel or whatever, as you can see, it's really, you know, has almost like a goopy consistency. Again, if you wanna thin this out, just add some water to that. Um, so what are you th your thoughts, guys? Like, what do you think, What which product would you use? Um, my comment section is open. I'm, you know, open for like any feedback. That would be awesome. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was useful for you. Uh, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and take care.